Hello, my name is Justin Urquhart Stewart, and uh, nice to see you. And if uh, you see uh, you see me before, then uh, welcome back. Well, here we go. Uh, yet another month, another week of uh, lockdown. I don't know about you, but my hair hasn't been this long since university. No trouble is I seem to have less of it, but no matter. More important things. What on earth's going on at the moment? There's some really very important themes I want to try and look at today, and hopefully give you some ideas as well. First of all. And so we all know what's happened with the oil price and anybody in the States watching that obviously very carefully indeed. Uh, we will be seeing some short term rebounds. I was looking at some figures coming out of BPs thinking actually that maybe the cuts are finally having an impact. That's not really the issue. It's actually the demand, which is still going to be so weak and going to continue to be so weak for some time. What the president's going to do in terms of support for the industry? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I can't actually see it actually being really making a huge amount of difference overall, not so much to the industry. Uh, apart from actually saving some, uh, some members, but really actually to the economy either. This is important because it's important because it affects not just the producers and therefore the uh, non-US producers, it means they're going to have less money to be able to spend. That's important for the global economy. You can see the impact that's having on the likes of Airbus and Boeing, who've got other problems as well, but that'll actually uh, impact elsewhere in terms of other global expenditure. Then also in terms of dividends, in terms of the oil companies themselves, now, in, not so much in the US, but certainly in the UK, that's really important for pension funds and things like that. And although we see BP actually retain it, there's going to be further pressure actually on that as we go through that. And of course, further production as well is going to be curtailed. Um, so all of that, the impact it's actually going to have is a lot of those oil producing countries outside the US, which are really going to suffer. And certainly one of that uh, was one of those will certainly be Russia. No smirking, please. Now, also, move on from that to commodities. And the commodities, other apart from oil, that is, will be affecting those emerging nations and the pressure they're going to have with debt. So all of this is adding to the red story, which is not a good story at all at the moment. Um, so all the more reason to be standing clear of these areas at the moment. Briefly, let me also then mention banks, um, because we're starting to see some of the bank reporting season coming through. And the key themes you're going to be seeing here is the amount they're going to be writing off uh, in terms of bad loans. And if you've got any sense, there'll be over uh, provisioning for that, um, which I suspect they will be. Seems the figures out of HSBC, uh, which will certainly be showing that. And of course, be wary of companies like HSBC and also Standard and Chartered, very much affected by what's happening in the Far East. And of course, we know what's uh, uh, the issue there with the, obviously the impact of the virus and such like. So from that, then lead on to the primary driver of the American economy, and of course, come to that, the global economy, that is, of course, the consumer, particularly the American consumer. That's what it's going to come back to in the end, and the question of confidence, the confidence of coming out of lockdown and the economy that's going to start moving. A couple of things I want to mention here. First of all, is we're going to be seeing some relief bouncing. We've already seen quite a nice release bounce already. Why? Because if we're reacting to action being taken. Thank heaven something's being done and governments are doing a great deal. Um, and also then the, the, the spreading of the, the, uh, the virus in terms of going over the hump, countries coming out of lockdown. And so it's improving. So again, there's a positive message. But these are all short term issues, but be careful. What we have to look is the longer term economic issues. And here, what you're going to have to see is what the reaction is going to be here. So be really rather wary with this, with these economic policies. We just don't know what impact they're going to have. This is going to be very difficult. Two areas to look at. One, opportunities with vultures and super chicks. Vultures, there'll be vulture funds looking to try and pick up super chicks. What's a super chick? Sadly, not those lovely girlfriends I never seem to get at university. But actually, the super chicks were the ones which were those businesses which are being spun out from companies because they need the cash. Good quality businesses. Look at those. Some may come to the market. Some will go through the vulture funds. If you can see some of those coming through, grab them while you can. The other issue is, watch with this, the vitals. What are the vital elements we need to keep the economy going and therefore going to be the bedrock of areas we should be investing in? Well, it's going to be food. It's going to be infrastructure. It's going to be all those elements of providing food, water and all those elements. And of course, security and defense. So those are all areas that, despite everything else, we're still going to be needing. These are difficult times, time, certainly indeed. Keep well, keep safe, and keep a good eye on the opportunities they're investing, because they will be there. Uh, keep your cash to hand. It's going to be really useful in the next few months, and I think provide some great opportunities. Best of luck, keep safe, and look forward to seeing you again in the not-too-distant future. Bye-bye.